It was you. You were the blonde. I remember you. You were in on it with my husband. I was a reporter on TV, that's all. And you were mixed up with him. I, I was doing interviews. That's it. I was on assignment. I, I had uncovered some u ugly facts about your husband. Do you remember? You were sleeping with him. You and Jonathan were having an affair. Did you do what I asked you to? Mm-hmm. I met Mr. X at the uh, rest stop on Route 23 and mission accomplished. Voila. Yeah. Oh, he was very interesting, darling. I gave him the photo and the money and he did the passports right there. Is that not amazing? You're incredible. I mean, it beats standing in line at the courthouse. And don't they look real? Yes, were they expensive? Oh, they cost an arm and a leg. But never mind, darling. I made more than that last week selling swamp land. Real estate's been very good to me. Marion, thank you. Now keep those safely hidden. Oh, close to my heart, darling. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Are you in pain? Come on, something is bothering you. No, no, it's just that... I'm sorry that you have to do all the work, that you, you have to pay for everything. Oh, don't be silly, darling. I'm having the time of my life. I've never had so much fun. And I'm looking forward to our adventure. Europe, here we come. Mm -hmm. You won't be homesick? For this hick town? Are you kidding? It could be some time before we can return. No, I will not miss Pine Valley a bit, but I, uh, I will really miss... Liza? Mm. Liza, my daughter, bless her heart... She's a grown woman, but she really needs her mother. Well, at present, she disagrees. Well, she thinks she hates me, but when she realizes that she doesn't, I'll be long gone. It could be years before we can safely contact her. I know. I, I just wish I could leave on, on a, a more positive note. Oh, Jonathan, it's really going to break my heart to say goodbye to my little girl. Say goodbye, Marion. You can't mention this to Liza, not one word. I know you were having an affair with my husband, Liza, because I saw you. All right, now, just listen to me, okay? I met Jonathan at a publisher's party at the Royal Plaza. Where else? Well, he was telling me about his drug research, how he wanted to change the face of modern medicine. And I thought, what a great story it would be. I sold the idea to my bosses, and I started the interviews started sleeping with him. Look, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? I used to find married men very attractive, but he resisted me. I started finding out things. I started asking questions. And then he was mine. I hated you. Tony, you had every right. His so-called research was experimenting on people. People who died. I know that. I, I didn't know that then, but when I became suspicious, I bribed somebody. To let me into his office, I looked for the files. The files that were on patients. The lab results that were left out, chopped off the final data. Patients who had had lethal side effects. Convulsions, coma, patients who had died. And I stole them. And I brought them to you. You wouldn't let me near the apartment. You said to meet you at a coffee shop. Do you remember that? And I brought these copies to you because I wanted you to have them. You were less than thrilled or pleased to see me. And yet I just thought that you should know. And I, I don't know. I, I guess I felt a lot of guilt about sleeping with your husband. I thought you were lying. I wish I had been. Dear God, I knew. I could have stopped Jonathan. I could have stopped him then. What a fool I was. Why didn't I, why didn't I, why didn't I believe you? I handled it badly. I could have stopped him. No, he was unstoppable. The people that he harmed, the people that he killed, he didn't care about them. All he cared about was money and power. Yet you wanted him. Not after I knew him. After I gave the photocopies to you, I replaced the original files in his office. I put them all back put them back exactly the way that I had taken them. And then he walked in on me. 
And I was caught. I, I lied. I told him that I had bribed somebody so I could surprise him. And I made believe that I wanted to make love to him. I was there. I went to his office to warn him about me, my plan to destroy him. I still loved him. Even then. I drove to his office. I opened the door. I stood there for what seemed like hours before you saw me. When he said my name, I started to scream. I was so scared you were going to say something to him. And you did. That's all I remember. You blamed me. You told him about the research. You told him I had given you copies of his files. And I, I, I wanted to do something to shut you up. You fell. And you, you hit your head. You're lying. I didn't fall. You pushed me. You tried to kill me. I did not try to kill you. I remember now. It was an accident. You wanted me out of the picture. Tony, stop it. I pushed you because you were going to tell Jonathan everything. You were giving him everything he needed to cover up his tracks. I didn't want to hurt you. I wanted to intimidate you, but not hurt you. You're lying again. No, I'm not lying. I am telling you the truth. I have relived that moment every day. I watched you fall. Jonathan and I were just standing there. It seemed like it lasted forever. And I, I begged him. Wake her up. Jonathan? She's dead. Jonathan made me believe that I had killed you. Please, you have to understand. What am I supposed to have? Pity for you? Feel sorry for you? No. Jonathan threatened me. He told me he would call the police. He would tell them that I was in on it with him. I had to tell him about the research papers. I had to give him the copies. And I... I made a bad deal. Let me guess. You keep your mouth shut about him. He keeps his mouth shut about you. He told me to go. That he would take care of everything. And, you know, God help me, I did. I was, I was haunted about that night. And I uh, was just shaking with fear. But I did it. I left and I never saw him again. Until he came to Pine Valley. Oops. You kill someone, make a deal, weasel out? No, I was frightened. You were frightened. I was thinking clearly. What about me? Lying there, out cold at his mercy. No, I thought you were dead. That's no excuse. You left me there for dead so you could go on with your life. I was in shock. Right. Right, you were so out of it, you land a job running a TV station. You're a big shot while I'm stuck in bed, pumped with drugs. Canalestic for one year in a damn nightgown while you run around with and have a life. We were both his victims, Tony. You had a life. I was a vegetable. He blackmailed me. My muscles are sponges. He bled me dry. You gave him money? You selfish idiot. What do you think he was using that money for? To buy pharmaceuticals. I was tortured. Chemically lobotomized thanks to you. I don't know what to say to you. You helped your lover get away with murder. You are no better than he is. Marianne, you can't mention our escape not to anyone. But not even Liza? Especially Liza. She never approved of our relationship. Oh, darling, she's just jealous. But we can't know that she won't betray us. But, but Jonathan, I... I'm afraid I... we can't. I must insist. It'll be kinder this way. Oh, you're probably right. Now, promise me. You won't speak of our fleeing to Switzerland. But I, I, I really... have to insist, Marion, please. 
Oh, all right, I'll give you my solemn promise. Thank you. And later, much later, when, when things are calm, we'll contact her. I'll go to the silver spoon and bring you back a couple of gourmet delights, undercover. During regular visiting hours. Right. Anything you're craving, like um, hearts of palm or caviar. I trust your excellent taste. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Now you rest. You too. I'll be back before you know it. B-Y-E. B-Y-E. <laughs> C-I-A-O, sexy. C-I-A-O, darling. Whatever you've got, you can take it back to the kitchen. Thank you. Lion pig. I hope you starve to death. You told me Tony was dead. She looked dead. There was still a pulse. Strong and steady. How could I be so stupid? You trusted the good doctor. Butcher of the East Side Treatment Center. Sort of loser. Me? Sky Chandler's gonna bring you down. Then I'll have you for company, Liza. Won't I? 